Hello everybody, Peter here and today we're gonna unbox the Google Chromecast and we're also gonna do a quick uh, setup guide for this device. So here's the box, pretty simple. You can see uh, some advertising from Google. So it says here that uh, it can provide you with YouTube, uh, Netflix, Hulu, HBO Now, Prime and other types of streaming services that you can find on the internet, nearly everything that is possible and also more than 2000 Android apps and iPhone apps, so a wide variety of things, this can turn any TV into a smart TV. On the other sides, in here, is just a clip to put onto the shelf, also in here. Uh, it says that you can use your phone as a remote and it explains how you can use your voice with Google Nest Mini and uh, all of the other devices from your Google environment. And also in here it says that you can have everything into one device. In here, this being the Chromecast 3, it says that it has 1080p support and via an HDMI. There is also Chromecast that supports 4K but for the purposes of my television 1080p should be enough. So how do you unbox the box? You just take it out. And the Chromecast 3, it's smaller than I expected. I think they have shrank it over the generations, but it basically does the same purpose as the older ones. Here's the Chromecast with a HDMI port. Really small. <laughs> I actually love it. It looks really pretty. Here's the stand in which it came. A charger, which is an American type charger, or the British plug, I don't know. I oh, no, this is the British plug, I think. And also in here, a USB cable, because this is charged via USB. So you need to plug this into your, an outlet, like this and then plug the other end into your Chromecast and this should be plugged into the TV. In here is also a quick start manual on what you should do and in here there's also safety and warranty. Really cool design. I actually like the design pattern that Google uses so it's really intuitive, uh, really easy to understand but I'm gonna do a setup as well while I'm here so you don't get any other problems. And this is the package mostly. Quite a simple device but it has lots of functions. So let's just start into the setup part. The next step after the unboxing is to plug the Chromecast into the TV. So this is a HDMI port that goes through the TV to provide the video signal. Here is the power for the device. As you have seen in the unboxing it comes with a charger but it, this will take one spot into my power plug and I don't want to. Because my TV has a USB port I'm gonna power this Chromecast from the USB port of the TV. So now let's go to the TV. I have taken it a little bit further from the wall. Be careful not to put too much pressure on a TV mount so you don't drop your TV because this can happen and then plug your HDMI port in here. So it has plugged in. It depends on your TV. Your HDMI might be on the side wherever you should know it or you should see other HDMI cables that you use around that area. And now I'm gonna go to the USB part of my TV. So it is in here actually. I'm gonna take the USB and plug into the TV. And as a running joke, you never get the USB uh, orientation correct from the first time, you never do that. Yeah, that's the correct way. Don't worry if you don't have a USB plug, you can also use a power outlet. So, when you power on your TV, you might see no signal, you have nothing plugged in, or you might see your normal TV channel program. So how do you go to the Chromecast? You take the remote, you take the source button from your TV, it might be in a different place depending on the model that you have, and you go to HDMI 1 or HDMI 2, wherever you have put your uh, device in. And now you're prompted to uh, get app screen. So I have already downloaded Google Home. 
when I set up this on an iPhone, the process is the same for Android phones, so don't get worried about it. I'm doing this on an iPhone because the owner of this device is going to use it from this phone. And you have to be onto the internet on a network. So, let's go on your Wi-Fi, power it on, and then hit try again. And then you get started. And you set up a new device, you add a new device. And you can create another home if you haven't done one home. So I'm just gonna name this home. Simple as that. You can name your home the way you want. I'm gonna skip the address part, so I'm gonna continue anyway. And do next. I won't allow the address to be seen. And now I will add a new device. So I had to turn on location afterwards I have completed all the all those data and now it says to turn on Bluetooth. So it's gonna turn on Bluetooth as it says. Now it's looking for devices. And it found the Chromecast. I'm gonna hit next. And now it's gonna connect with the Chromecast. And if we go now to the TV, we will see a code. And we see this code, yes, it's the same code on the phone as it is onto the TV. And you say, yes, this is my code. And I'm not going to help them improve the Chromecast because I don't want to send any data, so I'm going to hit no thanks. And uh, I'm going to just hit OK because it says that it's from another country, but that's not a problem. I'm gonna set where it is, I'm gonna set it in the living room, let's see, it's here. I'm gonna select my Wi-Fi. I'll also need the password, I'm gonna put this myself. I'm gonna connect it to the Wi-Fi. And now it's connecting to the Wi-Fi. Now it's going to do some updates. I'm going to let this update and then I'm going to show you the way that it works, so how you can Chromecast from YouTube and from such other apps. So let's just let it up. So now it says almost done on the TV. I'm going to select this device and it looks like it should be set up. So I'm just going to go into YouTube, into a no copyright sound. And now when you hit that button up top, that is the cast button you can select where to play. And I'm going to select living room, which is the device that we have just paired. And now it should automatically cast the video from the internet. So I'm going to also hit play from the phone. And now we have video from YouTube. We can select another song. So let's just go to another song. That's also not copyrighted, so we don't get a copyright strike in here. And we can just hit play. And it will change the image also for this one. You also get ads. So uh, that can be an inconvenience, but if you buy YouTube Premium, you can get rid of the ads. We got another ad. And now it's playing. It's the same way for Netflix, so when you go into the Netflix app, you also have the same signs that is a square with three antennas on top. You hit that, you select what device to cast, and that's it. Hopefully you can enjoy your Chromecast, have a great time. This has been Peter, see you soon.